What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight, about to get one of these things. You feel me? We go to watch. Night Watch, man, uh, Peep the Drip Shop, StevieKnight.com if you want something, man. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, man. But uh, yeah, the Drake, Kendrick Lamar, beef continues, nonsense continues, bro. Um, it's some some story and hit the headlines. Allegedly, some, oh, what they call them, a streamer bot? What the fuck is that? Streamer botter claims to have been paid to bot the streams for Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us by Anthony Sala LLC. Is that even a uh, ant last name? What's Anthony? What's Anthony? Anthony Top Dog Real Name. Yeah, Tiffith. Anthony Tiffith. So I don't know who the fuck uh Anthony Sala is. But anyway. Yeah, underage botter sends proof to act that Anthony Sala, a.k.a. Ant, made payment through Zelle to bot Not Like Us with 30 million streams after not receiving full payment and threatening to expose his life was threatened by Kendrick's team. Again, you know, you could ask around about me. I'm not biased. I haven't, you know, done this to fuck him over. I don't want to fuck him over. I don't want to fuck anybody over. But early on, when the song first dropped, it, I, it wasn't him. I'm not going to say he reached out to me himself because obviously he didn't. It was definitely somebody from management. They Can wanted me to do who? 30 million early, which fed into the rest of the views because obviously it was going to be a hit song either way. I like the song. You want me to be honest? The song is good. Like, it's a hit song. Hey, hey, hey sir, um, we, you know, again, we're at the point where we're putting out public information. Could we, could we, could we also divulge names um, that we could verify even later? Who reached out to you on behalf of Kendrick? I mean, I have payment proof, and I, I will DM that to you as long as you know you won't expose it right now on stream in front of everybody, but I will send you all the proof, all the receipts and everything. Okay. Because there are certain things that I want to keep myself safe okay. at the no, end no, of the no, day, of course, too, but course. I will send it to you. I, I want to independently verify it. Um, Hold on. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in this call. Well, you, you know my, my Instagram name, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's that. I smell bullshit. I smell bullshit. I mean, even if this shit was true, bro, like, it's it's June 18th, bro. <laughs> it's June 18th, dog. If any, if, first of all, if anybody cared about this shit, you should have brought this shit up a long time ago, bro. But, um, all right, me, I think it's Cap. I think it's just motherfuckers trying to goddamn save face as much as they goddamn can. It's act covering this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the goddamn Bibia Drizzy Glizzy Guzzler, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, he gonna do the most trying to uh, paint Drake in the best light possible. You know, 24-7, 365. You feel me? Um, but, yeah, even if the stream, even if streams were bought, like, who the fuck cares, bro? Like, <laughs> ever since I seen that damn Russ interview up on uh, Cuz's podcast, dog, it's like, that's what the big wigs do they buy the streams to shoot the fucking numbers up like all the top artists do it like it's just what the it's what they do in the fucking industry bro so it's like this is nothing new than anybody else is doing but you know i i just think i think this is cap you know what i'm saying no songs within this fucking rap beef needed any gas to go because they were gonna go regardless bro it's drake and kendrick lamar beefing you feel I me mean? and not like us is a fucking bop <laughs> yeah i mean that bitch is gonna got them sore regardless dog so you know what i'm saying i just i just smell bullshit bro and if streams was actually bought why wouldn't they pay you in full bro these motherfuckers are not lacking in money and they're gonna try to do good business you feel I me mean? so it just all smells like a bunch of bullshit to me i guess they got receipts here Somebody, you got you got some bread in the bank, boy. You got 1.2 million of them things in the bank, boy. Um, 2,500 from Anthony. Shall I, how much do streams cost to, to, to boom? 2,500 get you 30 million. <laughs> 2,500 get you 30 million uh, streams. The fuck? Yeah, I smell bullshit. I smell bullshit. Oh, and it says, uh, stream botter claims have been paid to bot the streams of KDOT, like, not like us, by Anthony Sala LLC. However, the, however, there appears to be no LLC registered under that name. 
definitely like some bullshit, dog. Um, yeah, it's, I think it, it's an attempt for uh, Drake's team to uh, make him look better, dog. But yeah, y'all, y'all better keep doing the most. <laughs> Keep doing the most to make Drake look better, dog. Because uh, there's another monster coming. <laughs> there's another tidal wave coming. There's another fucking nuclear bomb coming, bro. Because allegedly, I say allegedly, allegedly that they're filming the video for "Not Like Us" on Saturday. They're filming the video for Not Like Us on Saturday, dog. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, that shit is going to destroy, dog. <laughs> That's just going to bomb, bro. Like, it's just going to keep getting worse for this man, dog. Hey, motherfuckers, uh, UMG, whoever the fuck, y'all better lift the goddamn copyrights of that shit, too, man. Stop playing, motherfuckers. Um, but, yeah. Kendrick Lamar will be filming the Not Like Us music video this Saturday, set to be filmed in Compton. Matter of fact, shout out Kendrick Lamar. Heard you doing something big, big in Compton. For those of y'all uh, that's big Kendrick fans in the L.A. County area, man, if I was y'all, I would hang around Compton. I might get in trouble for saying that, but they doing something major in Compton this Saturday. And uh, y'all might get some, y'all might get to be a star. Especially the young ladies that like to uh, be in Pop videos. <laughs> but Compton, Saturday. All right, that's all I want to say on that. Yeah, motherfucker may need to pull up, bro. The motherfucker may need to pull up to Compton, bro. Oh, they were, oh, and there was word on the street that they're like gonna do a, a remix, though. Hold on, let me see if I can find that shit. Because if they do this fucking remix with this lineup that that was claimed to be uh, on the fucking video, dog. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? I seen the post, but it looked like it was, it looked like some bullshit, bro. That's why I, I would have covered it before, but I just couldn't, I couldn't vet it. I couldn't vet it, right? I mean, low key, I'm not vetting this shit either, man, but fuck it, we here now, bro. But yeah, where's this post? Here, here we go. It's on Reddit, dog. That's gonna be a 12 minute song. Drake getting exhumed, cremated, and shot into space. LMAO. Word on the street is that Kendrick is dropping Not Like Us Remix featuring Snoop Dogg, YG, Roddy Rich, J Rock, and Schoolboy Q, produced by Musta and Dr. Dre, along its alongside its music video, bro. <laughs> Tell you that. Hey, if they drop that shit, Dr. Dre on the beat, dog. You know what I'm saying? I hope they do it, bro. But even if they don't do it, it's just, it's, bro, it's just amazing just entertaining the idea that if they put that shit together, though, I mean, K. Dot already did this to Drake, bro. It's already, sure, he already did, sure, you can, sure, you can this ass, bro. But if they drop that shit, bro, man. Drake old whole ass may pull up to the video, try to goddamn twerk ass in the video, dog. <laughs> oh, I'm petty, bro. I'll give a fuck, dog. I'll give a fuck, bro. But yeah, if they, if they do that, bro. If they do that, dog, come on, man. I hope I hope it's not gas. I hope it's not gas, bro. But um Yeah, like I say, the damn the the, the K dot Drizzy drama continues, bro. And uh, it, it's, it's far from over, bro, because that video was coming. <laughs> that video was coming. <laughs> anyway, though, man, we out here, man. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And uh, hold on, we got some more shit to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something else I wanted to cover. Something. Yeah, Charlemagne. Hopefully, I'm, my shit don't get copyrighted because of this. But I seen a few seconds of Charlemagne talking about something on IG insinuating Cause I mean, we still don't know what is what, what's true and what's not true. Fuck it, we'll wait. We'll we'll, we'll let this shit rock first. Um, before we get to the topic at hand. Kendrick does not win this battle as convincingly he as he does if he hadn't have done that internal work on himself. Yeah, if he didn't grow a man, except meet the grams that's extremely disturbing well no he he helped he he grown man them bro Kendrick doesn't win this if. If he's not a grown man, it was literally a grown man versus a little boy. And Drake got sunned. You know what I'm saying? And it's, 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 bro, 
and uh, optically, it's just so fucking dope, bro. Because Drake is the epitome of like the degeneracy in 2024, bro, and how the degeneracy is is sought after, is monetized, is incentivized for people to again just do the goofy shit to get the get the attention, get the money, get the views, sell their soul type of energy and shit, bro. Like Drake is the epitome of that. Why why life is fucked up today. You know what I mean? And then Kendrick is the epitome of the entire opposite of authenticity, not selling your soul, hard work, doing it the fucking right way, grown man shit. You feel me? Not selling your soul, not doing the bullshit. And oftentimes, yeah, the majority of the time, the, 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 the shit Kendrick stands for doesn't get the attention it deserves just because of the day and age we live in, in bro. Hence why Kendrick Lamar is often criticized throughout his career because he doesn't do he, he doesn't give you the, the slaps for the club. He don't give you the bangers. He don't give you the popping ass records. Like the shit that is sought after the most. You feel me? So to see Kendrick Lamar win this shit it's big. It's big for hip hop, period. But it's big for just society, period, bro. Because you can do shit the right way and still get active. You feel me? It's just dope. It's dope. He helped Aubrey with self reflection. When you look at the like that record, that's just rap. That's just nigga. I'm nicer than you. Y'all can't fuck with me. Y'all know I'm the boogeyman. Here I go slapping y'all again. Y'all ain't gonna do shit. Ah, right? Drake decided to reply. He fucked up. But uh, oh, not like us was more than that though. No, nah, we can't minimize that. Not like us was dope because that is not what Kendrick does. Kendrick does not give you slaps. You know what I'm saying? He put on for the city, gave you a banger, gave you a bop, and killed him. You know what I'm saying? Doing what Kendrick does not do. Bro. That was much bigger than just it was rap, bro. Like, no. Kendrick is Kendrick is showing you the versatility in this thing is showing you that I Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you, bitch. <laughs> it's like, oh, so now you want to talk. Like, remember, remember what I was talking about earlier with your dad? Yeah. And I was saying how your dad probably just avoiding you mm -hmm. because he's scared to sit down and have that real face-to-face -face conversation with you because you're going to start peeling back them layers mm -hmm. and, 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 and really picking him apart and making him see himself. Yeah. Make, that's, that's why the name of my book is Get Honest or Die Lying, right? Because... I say, you know, we got to stop lying to ourselves and stop volunteering those lies to other people. When somebody makes you see yourself, when you see yourself in that mirror for the first time, mm -hmm. that shit can be scary. scary moment. So Kendra's like, oh, so now you want to talk. <laughs> well, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. And it, it start off light, right? Euphoria. He's t he's t it's, a, it's a stern Warning talking shot. to. It's a stern, <laughs> it is a stern talking to, and, and I'm addressing everything that I think is wrong, wrong with you. you. Let me, first of all, let me get my shit off. Let me tell you what I don't like about you Fact. personally, right. right? I hate the way you walk, hate the way you talk, hate the way you dress. But more importantly is this. I don't like the way you move here. I don't like the way you move there. Cool. So now you got to sit down. You got to think about that for a second. The, the timestamp record, record was 616 in L.A. Mm -hmm. That's him. And another thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and another thing, uh, Aubrey. I want to, you know, you know, you really need to watch the people around you. <laughs> it's not just you. The people around you ain't shit either. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And now you, you, you Drake. You like, nigga. You don't know me. <laughs> so now you come with uh, family too. matters. Oh no. Oh, well, he responded. No, what was before family matters? The AI. Well, AI was before all of it. Yeah. Now, I don't even count the AI. Yeah. Never did. But the AI, I mean, it's a, it was a good part of the battle, but that really didn't have nothing to do with nothing. The Family Matters is him just... He ain't had shit, what, what he messed up is he went on the defensive. He ain't had yeah. shit, though. You know? Yep. He, went on, he went on the defensive just a little bit. I like Family Matters. Though. I think Family Matters is a very dope record. But Family, well, Ma Family Matters, you know Drake didn't have nothing in the clip, bro. He ain't say nothing new. He, was talking to, he, he gave most of the heat to everybody else, not to Kendrick. You knew that he didn't have shit on Kendrick, bro. Whitney, you're short. Whitney, you're short, bro. You ain't had shit. <laughs> Cooked. Matter set up, meet the gram. Oh, so you want to talk about my man. You want to say my, you want to lie and say my man got my, my, my woman pregnant. You know, what else he said? What other egregious things he said in that he record? He said he was an, an abuser. You beat my, yeah, I beat my wife. Yeah. All, all of this other stuff, Bullshit. right? Bullshit. Okay. What did they say? Don't tell. He's and he told him before. Don't tell no lie lies about me, me, and I won't I tell, tell no truth, truth about you. you. So now you got to sit down and really talk to your therapist. Go this mirror. Oh, and I'm gonna tell you how I know Kendrick doing internal work. 
at the, at, at the end of the uh, Meet the Graham record, he told him, I think you need to do some ayahuasca to separate your ego. Kill your from ego. You or whatever. I've, I've done ayahuasca. Kill your ego. There is nothing that puts all your traumas on the table and lays it out for you more than ayahuasca. Why the fuck would you do that? I wanted to do it. I, I'll, I'll do it again. Like you, Man, ayahuasca. I, ever, I, I haven't done it yet, bro. But um, I'm definitely an advocate of killing the ego for like successful men. You know what I mean? Because pride and ego and pussy are men's biggest downfalls. And uh, I mean, you can never kill an ego entirely, bro. But like, the more you are in control of it, the better off you're going to be, man. Business wise, relationship wise, everything wise, man. But. You know, most successful motherfucker, dog, that ego controls everything, man. And I can get a hint of, like, what it would be on ayahuasca because I've dibbled and dabbled in other things that are very humbling experiences, man. And it just it just uh, funnels you being able to be real with yourself, talk to yourself, having real self-reflection and no cap, dog. And that's needed, especially 2024, bro, because everything is cap. Everything is fake. Everything is bullshit. It's all bullshit. Selling you bullshit. Selling you frauds. Selling you ideas. You know what I'm saying? It's all bullshit, bro. And these little trips that you can take definitely help you figure out who you are. You feel me? Uh, well, for him saying that I know that KDOT is on some self-reflection, Everybody knows. Every all K that all K dot fans should know. He's on a self reflection tear right now, just because of Mister Morale and the Big Steppers, bro. Hell, even to Pimple Butterfly, dog. Like that, if that don't scream self reflection, then I, I don't know what the fuck does. You feel me? Even in uh Untitled, bro. Some a lot of self self reflection in that shit, bro. Like K dot has been on this virtuous tear for for quite a quite a while now, bro. And um, you know, a motherfucker that know himself is a motherfucker you don't want to. You don't want to have problems with it, bro. <laughs> Especially the likes of Drake. Drake is the most fakest, fraudest motherfucker out here. Good, like you, you really can't run from yourself. You can't run from yourself in life. Period. Right. It, uh, all your bullshit will always catch up. Right. But ayahuasca m puts all of these things that you've you. been running from on the table. Like you are forced to face them, and it's like you're you're chained, you know, to like a wall or something and you keep trying to look away and it's like something holding your eyes open like no you gonna see this mm -hmm. you gonna see this you're gonna observe it and you're gonna deal with it and um that's what i think he did on meet the grams now, i don't know if everything on meet the grams was true right i don't i don't know but There's a part large part listening. of it was I, just the self-reflection they cut the part out um let me see if i can find it let me see if i can find it on instagram uh dj head who uh I don't know if he's if he's in Kendrick's camp, but he definitely has connection with him, and I think he confirmed that uh, everything that Kendrick Lamar said on the record is true. Fuck, where is it, man? No, um, that's what I think he did on Meet the Grams. Now I don't know if everything on Meet the Grams was true, right? I don't I don't know, but a large part of it was I, just a self reflection. I mean, he told me everything was facts. No, um, that's what I think. Yeah, that's all I heard. So, I mean, based on what he's saying, um, which really don't even mean nothing because just because Kendrick believe it's facts does not mean it's facts, dog. But uh, no one knows the truth behind all that anyway, but it don't even matter because Drake got cooked and he's going to continue to be cooked. <laughs> I, I'd imagine he's going to feel some more shots tomorrow when uh, Kendrick do his uh, – the pop out Ken and Friends concert, bro. <laughs> they finna go crazy on that. And then, not like us video shoot, bro. I'm gonna see if I can finagle us doing a stream of uh, Kendrick Lamar's concert. If I do it, I'll let y'all know, bro. But uh, anyway, thoughts.